first thing how is kashayam made is a basic question everyone asks so we advise not to mix substances while doing kashayam the same concept how we say do not mix the millets all of them are good but do not mix them on a similar line we would say each leaf has its own good properties medicinal properties so do not mix them have it in its pure form on its own so that it does its complete work in your body so how to make a kashayam would be collect fresh leaves fresh leaves are the best dried leaves the percentage of effectivity reduces to half so try to get the fresh leaf as far as possible wash it well boil for one person 150 to 200 ml of water bring it to a boil once it starts bubbling add the leaf big leaves one to two leaves is sufficient if they are small leaves then half your fistful of leaves add it into the water turn the flame to sim allow it to boil for 2 to 3 minutes turn it off cover it with a lid allow it to rest for 3 to 4 minutes filter it allow it to become a little cool don't take it at a boiling hot temperature cool it a bit if required you can add palm jaggery to it there are some leaves which are bitter some do not require so you can add uh, palm jaggery if required and consume it preferably on empty stomach at least half an hour gap before you consume your food so that all the absorption can take place properly so what do kashayams do is it gives a boost to your system many people are under the false assumption that it is sufficient to use only the kashayams and they forget about the base of the millets so they continue to eat rice and wheat and take kashayams first they feel very good initially they feel okay i am getting rid of all my problems but this will help you it will give you some time to correct your base food all the basic things which you are doing unless you correct these the action of this will be short lived it is only for that day it will give you some relief to your complaints it will give a boost to your system but if you are going to continue only kashayams and leave out the rest of the whole see as i said it's a whole package it's not one thing it's not two things it's everything together which is going to give you the health so you cannot do one without the other so please don't rely only on the kashayams they are a short term short lived effect they're going to give you a boost but you cannot depend only on that so based on ayurvedic literature based on homeopathic remedies as well based on common knowledge which has been passed on from generation to generation we have a list of kashayams what is good for what kind of diseases which is available in the pdf form and i think we will be visiting the nursery here as well to see what kind of medicinal plants are available and the reason why kashayam is made in water only uh, some people have the habit of adding milk as well so water soluble elements are usually not poisonous to you most poisons are fat soluble and not water soluble so by chance if we have a problem i have made a mistake in identifying the plant and by mistake we have taken something which is not very suitable for our system the bad elements would not be to an extent to cause harm to you if you have taken it through the water form only water soluble form only so that is why many people directly take and eat the leaf if you are sure about the plant then it might be okay but it is always best to take it in the form of kashayam and our body is also as i said most part of it is water so the medicinal elements reach throughout your body better when it is dissolved in water so this is the reason why we ask to make kashayam and not take the leaf directly and this is the reason why we say do not mix everything and have it okay so uh just the immunity series i will write down this is a series of seven kashayams which we suggest to improve the immunity in children and in adults which will 
help to prevent against these acute diseases which come seasonally say dengue h1n1 and such diseases so when we do this on a regular basis we will be uh, having protection against these kind of infectious diseases Am I correct? Cynodon, right? English name, Garika. Bold letters. Okay, I will, whoever tells me the local name, I will write that. So, first is Garika, the grass. Durva. It is a grass. I think the botanical name will be cyanodon. Next we have Tulsi, everyone is aware of that. Next we have Tinospora or Amritavalli in Sanskrit also. Bigger? Bilva is called locally. Bil. So, ideally one week of each kashayams we suggest early morning empty stomach continuously one week one kind of kashayam. But if you are in a hurry say the season has already come where many people are getting the flu or many people are getting chikungunya, many people are getting dengue then you can run through the series with 3-3 three, three days of each if you are in a hurry. Yeah. And we go in the order of smallest to the biggest. So, especially for children, when we send them to school, we are afraid because any other kid has the flu, cough, fever, our child might get the flu or the fever. So, we are scared to send the children to school. Immunity has become a big problem. So, when you go through this once in six months, once in a year, their immunity is taken care of. You will not require the frequent vaccinations which are given. So, how does this boost the immunity is? These have different kind of, they present different kind of antigens to the body. So, that our body produces the antibodies and when we have different ready with us, we are ready to fight the different kinds of infections which we are prone to. So, up to the age where the child is having the mother's milk, six months, the immunity is derived from the mother's milk. So, as long as the mother is feeding the child well, then if the mother takes these kashayans, it is sufficient, we will not be giving it to the baby. Up to the age of one year at least, it is not required. After that, we can start with uh, one-fourth tumbler after the age of one year. Yes, Vaccination plan, yes. Plan. yes. What about that? Yeah, that uh, for the patients who come to our clinic, we completely ask them to avoid. I personally have not taken any vaccinations. So, that is a different topic altogether. Uh, along with this, we also have a few homeopathic preventive medicines which we use. So, in general, I cannot say uh, about vaccination without them being my patient, I cannot comment about it. But in general, the whole concept of vaccination again is a debatable topic. Okay. 
so uh, this was about the immunity series